I speak blank. What do you speak? What do you speak? Uh, daily Boost is a daily offering from Love and Action Network. A Love and Action Network is an a peer support organization where we encourage, equip, and empower you to put your love in action. Our CEP is Andre in the Flow. You can find him on all platforms at Andre in the Flow. He also sings and uh, offers many, many different types of coaching. Um, and I'm hoping that this scroller shows today. I'm unclear. I'm unclear. Anyway, um, our other practitioners are, um, I see. Our other practitioners are Poppy Wata 33, who does Waiting to Exhale on Sundays. And then, of course, me, Tara Priolo Studio, on all the platforms that matter, honey. Okay, so let's get started. Black Liturgies is back. I read that on Tuesday. Uh, but today we're going to do a We the Urban. Now, We the Urban has excellent posts for the start of the month every month, but I'm going to read the one that they posted yesterday, which is You're Doing a Great Job. That's where it starts. And the affirmation, this, I really liked the affirmation. My life is about to bloom in the most beautiful ways. Second slide. Whatever you accomplish today is enough. Maturity is realizing that happiness is a choice. You really have to be very mindful and shift your perspective regularly because life will always present reasons to be unhappy. Waiting for perfect circumstances to allow yourself to be happy is robbing yourself of present joy. Relax. Your story is not finished. You are not trapped. Your capacity to overcome is limitless. Time is on your side. There is so much more to life. Nope, there is so much more life to live. Allow yourself occasional lapses without giving up entirely. Perfection isn't the goal. Continuity is. Ooh, continuity is. I like that. Continuity is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. You're allowed to be proud of yourself. You're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to take up space. You're allowed not to have it all figured out. You're allowed to have a path that doesn't make sense to others. You're allowed to change your mind about your, ch you're allowed to change your mind about your change of mind. That's an interesting one. You're allowed to be both soft and strong. You're allowed to be a work in progress. You're allowed to outgrow old dreams. You're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to change and grow. You're allowed to have needs and you're allowed to start over. You're allowed to start over. Be present. All of this is temporary. The love you give to others is a reflection of the love you're capable of giving yourself. Nurture both equally. Uh oh, you're doing good, baby. Your trauma responses once kept you safe. Thank them. Then gently let them know their job is done. It is okay to outgrow who you used to be. If it's draining you more than uplifting you, it's time to let go. You will be okay, love. You have always found a way to keep going. This time won't be any different. So, as we dig in here, uh, I said today is Throat Chakra Thursday, which means you can put into the chat, I speak. What do you speak today? I speak. And I'm going to pull up some reflection questions to help us through. As you know, the facts have been posted multiple times on our social medias um, and as well are coming uh, in a different genre is what I want to say, but that's not it. Uh, packaging very soon. All right, let's do... Let's do inner voice. What does my inner voice sound like? Is it kind and supportive or critical and harsh? How do I respond to my inner voice when it is negative? What practices help me tune into my inner guidance? Well, this morning I got up at 3.30, uh, woke up, just had to go to the bathroom and stayed up um, because my brain was running 
just running. And so that is one thing, uh, you know, when no one else is awake, when the house is quiet, uh, that's how I tune into my inner guidance. And finally, I got a little taste of an answer to what I've been searching for, because truly, I think I'm at a space where I'm building things that are similar to what is out there, but not seeing exactly what I want, um, which Dr. Flo has wrestled with over the last few years in terms of like apps offering only certain, like, you know, certain pieces of what we want or need or uh, makes our lives easier. And so uh, these things are tough. Sometimes they are tough to navigate, right? Without our inner, uh, our inner guidance. Okay. How do I respond to my inner voice when it's negative? Well, I'm going to answer that as the same pretty much as the first question, which is what does my inner voice sound like? Is it kind, supportive, or critical and harsh? And I want to remind something that we also found in We the Urban, which was um, that we have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. I think we got that from We the Urban. So some of those are going to be negative, right? And sometimes we get stuck in the rut of negativity. Sometimes we get thrown into disarray, you know, um, and it's okay as long as we are able to climb the emotional guidance scale and resume some action and comfortable emotions. <laughs> Bless you, baby. Okay. Let's do our last Melody Beatty. I think I'm reading yesterday and today. So our heart chakra, uh, which was yesterday's day four, uh, what comes around goes around is a phrase most of us have heard. Instead of waiting until other people get the pain and suffering we believe they deserve, how about generating goodwill so that so that can come around to us? The inventory focus. What's the thing you're most jealous or envious of in others? What do you find yourself judging the most? What's your sore spot, the place you feel you got cheated out of something important in your life? Sometimes I wonder why other people get to have their children and I don't have my son, Shane. Maybe what you really want is to fill the empty spot and the hole in your own life. Day five. Some people suggest that thoughts are prayers. Maybe we could make sure we're praying uh, what we're praying for is good. The action. Feel all your feelings. Repressing thoughts of jealousy, envy, or bitterness doesn't help. It makes you dishonest and passive aggressive. Perhaps you are pretending to like someone, but you think they're a jerk. As soon as possible, after identifying your feelings, begin practicing goodwill. Force it. Fake it if you must. Deliberately think positive thoughts toward whomever you just wished ill. I usually say there is always an olive branch. There is always an olive branch. And hello, Cindy. There is always an olive branch. And because there is always an olive branch, no matter how deeply I'm hurt or angered at someone, there is always an olive branch. And so that is my version, I believe, of goodwill. Anyway, that is all for Daily Boost today. I will see you all back on Saturday. Dr. Flo will see you tomorrow. Uh, and happy episode 200 on the Substack and the podcast of season two. Uh, I'm happy to be here and happy to have gotten this far, child. So continue to be anti-racist. Be safe. Wear a mask. Make good trouble. Do good work. I love y'all hardcore. You are loved and lovable and ain't nobody can change that. And I will see you next time.